Hello again, everybody. It's Scott Casper, Takedown Media. Our coverage of the sport continues with an inside look at the NWCA All-Star Classic. Today, we look at 141 pounds. It'll be Rutgers star Anthony Ashnault facing Bryce Meredith from Wyoming. And he joins us now as a 141-pounder from Rutgers, Anthony Ashnault. Anthony, how are you? I'm really good. Thanks for having me, Scott. You bet. Congratulations, by the way, on the invitation to the 51st edition of this uh, historic event. It's Cleveland State that will be hosting. Have you ever wrestled in the Wallstein Center? No, never. It's going to be a first time first time in Cleveland for myself, and uh, I'm just really excited to be, to be invited in, into the event, being the first Rutgers guy to represent. Uh, it's a really big accomplish, accomplishment for myself and for my university. So a two-time All-American, that's that's who you are. You're going to be facing the NCAA runner-up, Bryce Meredith. Now, what's interesting to me is that accomplished as both of you are, you've never faced each other in in uh, all the opportunities perhaps that uh, came up. You never faced each other. And no, it's kind of wild for me, but that makes this such a fresh opportunity, not just for uh, Wyoming, but also for Rutgers. This is your kind of battle, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. This is. I think it's exciting for uh, both both of us involved in it. Uh, we never got to wrestle each other, like like you said. So uh, you could expect some wild flurries, and uh, we don't really know each other's tendencies. So I'm sure we're both going to let loose, and there's going to be a lot of points scored during the match. Uh, ho- hopefully, what I'm expecting is a lot a lot of points in my favor, and not not a lot in his. But um, I'm ready for a battle, and I'm prepared. I'm prepared to go in there. And whatever happens, happens. I know I'm just going to wrestle very, very hard and compete like I always compete. I get the opportunity to work this event as well every year, and it's always it's always very special to me because it is the first event. It's the event that kicks off the season. You guys have been busting it hard throughout the summer, you know, training and practice and doing a, a lot of cardio, I imagine. But October 10th signals to start as you open up the wrestling rooms and things get down to business. Um, how has practice been like over uh, the last month or so? For me, practice has been better than it's ever been. Uh, this is the best preseason I have for myself, wrestling-wise, conditioning-wise. Uh, I've been pushing really, really hard, doing doing things really, really well, and uh, how they how they should be done out, outside of wrestling. So, uh, all the all the pieces of the puzzle are really coming together for me, and I'm expecting my best season yet coming into this year. I'm looking forward looking forward to uh, opening up with such a high caliber match. It's just for me, it's a great opportunity to build off of how I finished last year. Uh, I finished fourth in the country, but it wasn't really how I imagined myself finishing. I thought I was ready to win a national title, and uh, I've been working really, really hard in the off season to get to that point. And I'm just really excited to open up with such a bang, and I really want to show the country what I can do. You know, I recall your high school career at 170 and 0, and uh, already a two-time All-American for Rutgers. But you were one of those guys that everybody looked at and said, "What's he going to be like in college?" Because you were unbeaten a four-time state champ in New Jersey, which is difficult to do. And the bad boys from New Jersey, obviously, you take a look at the the lineage of all the guys like yourself that have come out of New Jersey or still wrestling in New Jersey. And this is a, this is an outstanding opportunity to prep for what's to come. Let's talk about Battle at the Birthplace. This is November 19th, literally around the corner. So Coach um, uh, Goodell says, hey, let's go do this uh, All-Star Classic. But then we got to prepare for a battle at the birthplace. So you guys excited about this outdoor, uh, what I hope to be something that you'll repeat, but are you excited for the first ever, uh, outdoor wrestling event at Rutgers? Oh yeah. I mean, uh, we've been preparing every Friday morning. We're out in the stadium running in the cold. And, uh, sometimes coach Goodell will make us take our shirts off just to embrace that feeling. But we're more excited than anything else. A lot of people, we walk around campus. A lot of students are into it, uh, into wrestling. It's one of the best sports here. So they're asking, are you guys excited for that kind of match? Uh, are you nervous if it's if it's the weather's not going to hold up? But uh, more than anything, the team's really excited. We want that opportunity to wrestle in that in front of that many fans, and we want to show the university and the state of New Jersey uh, how good Rutgers wrestling is going to be and how good we already are. This is an example of thinking outside the box for our sport as we continue to to grow our sport and get all the attention that it obviously deserves but uh it's an outdoor event happen uh, it happens on the on the or general area where the very first football game was ever ever played you guys wrestle in a historic gym as well um it was 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 Rutgers an obvious choice for you um when deciding on where to go to school not not really too much honestly uh 
growing up, Rutgers wrestling wasn't really anything. And uh, when I started getting recruited, I got recruited by a lot of guys all over the country. I took visits um, all across all across the country to Oklahoma's, um, Michigan, Penn State, and Rutgers. And uh, a big, big factor was my family's 10, 15 minutes from Rutgers. And my brother was on the coaching staff at the time, and he wrestled for Rutgers. And uh, I've been coming to the Scarlet Knights Wrestling Club since sixth grade, seventh grader. And uh, really, at the end of the day, it was just I really trusted in the program, and I trusted in myself that I was going to get to the point uh, where I think my ability is capable of. And it didn't matter where I was going to go. I knew I was going to work really hard. And Rutgers was the most comfortable to me and the best fit for myself. And I really wanted to grow New Jersey wrestling and grow Rutgers wrestling to become a powerhouse in the country. And I think we're doing a great job right now. We still got a lot of work to do, but uh, the commitment to Rutgers, was, that was part of it. I really wanted to make something special here. We're talking with Anthony Ashnault. He'll be facing Bryce Meredith. He's in the Nike hot seat this morning, live from Rutgers, New Jersey. Uh, excuse me, Rutgers in New Jersey. I want to go back to uh, talking about uh, training and, and preparing in the off season. What did you work on most during the summer months? I worked a lot on things that I've always worked on, uh, finishing shots. I know uh, in the NCAA semifinal, I didn't finish a single leg. And I've shot a single leg my whole life, but it's just something I didn't finish in the NCAA tournament when it really mattered. And uh, I, same thing happened in the third place match in the closing seconds of the second period. I didn't finish a single leg. And uh, that was a big focus of the summer, just mentally to know that I could, I could get in that position and I could finish quick. And uh, more just for myself mentally, I, I worked on that a lot. And I, I worked a lot on bottom and uh, I've improved a lot in all areas of my wrestling. I think I'm, I'm a lot better in every area. I have a lot more attacks. I've always had the attacks, but uh, sometimes in college, it's just a confidence thing. And the more you work and drill those kind of positions, the more confidence you get in them. And the more you wrestle live with better guys. And uh, that's the kind of things I did this summer. I just put myself in positions I wasn't as strong in throughout my first two years. And I kept working, working, working. And uh, I feel really confident no matter what happens in a wrestling match right, right now at this point in my career. Anthony, you have the ability to shoot, take shots very quick. You adjust your position, adjust your level. Level changes are, are obviously very easy for you, but uh, the Big Ten is where you guys wrestle. And last year, you became the very first wrestler from Rutgers to win a Big Ten title. So you're firmly in the record books of this institution. It'd be nice to, I would imagine, add a uh, all-star classic uh, a title to your collection of trophies and to that for the university as well. Do you feel that? Oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, we're, of course, we're going there to be a part of the all-star classic, but the main goal is to go there and win the match. Uh, I'm excited for it, and I'm really excited that my opponents, the national runner-up from last year, because it's an opportunity to show, to show the uh, the wrestling country how good I am and what I could really do on the wrestling mat. And uh, I'm ready to take over that 141 weight class. So uh, this is a great opportunity come November 5th. And you want to own it, I'm sure. Rutgers becomes the 104th school to add its name to the list of programs that have participated in the NWCA All-Star Classic. It takes place November 5th at the Wolstein Center, Cleveland State University. Matches begin at 7, main event around uh, 7 o'clock, I should say. Matches begin at 6. Tickets start at 15 bucks. $100 preferred seating and social are available as well. Group options, look for those. Look for tickets at Northeast Ohio Discount Drug Mart's the Wolstein Center box office or more information can be found at GoAllStarClassic.com. Anthony, we appreciate you taking the opportunity to jump into the Nike hot seat today. Hope you had a good time. I'm looking forward to seeing you, and more than anything, I'm looking forward to the battle that awaits. It'll be Anthony Ashnall, a junior for Rutgers, facing another junior from Wyoming, Bryce Meredith. Anthony, thanks for the time, man. Thank you so much, Scott. I had a great time.